Hey Sag, welcome to your mid-December reading for 2021. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of the month, rest of December and the year. <laughs> um, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So let's see what's going on for you guys. What's going on for Sag for the rest of December? What's happening for the rest of December? We have Root Girl, The Disowned Self, number 46. And we have Wailing Tree, Reconciliations, number 59. They're both kind of like very similar um, colors, like red, kind of earthy, like there's leaves and tree branches. Um, it kind of feels like something that you have um, disowned or left behind it could be coming back around or maybe you're coming back around to something this could possibly have to deal with a person for some of you but we'll see what else is going on here for Saj for the rest of December that's too many let's get less cards here All right, we have empathy, indecision, and assertion. Bottom of the deck, we have principle. So it feels like there's almost like a need to have compassion for something here is almost what I'm getting, um, but not really knowing how, it's almost like not really knowing how you should go about something. Like, should you have compassion for the situation if there is something kind of like coming back around or something that you are dealing with here from your past it's almost like you're not really sure how to deal with it that's almost what i'm getting i feel like you're trying to probably do the right thing with this principal energy but it's almost like what is the right thing is kind of what i'm getting so let's see what is going on here what is this about for Sagittarius for the rest of December? We have the Fool, Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, uh, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune and temperance and the hanged man so needing to have a little bit of patience here i feel like um it's almost like things are changing in their own time wheel of fortune temperance and the hanged man okay um it makes me feel like you've been waiting for something to change as well like some of you are really looking forward to some sort of a new beginning or you're focused on some sort of a new beginning here um, but it's like, I almost feel like you have to maybe leave something behind. Maybe that's what it is. You're maybe leaving something behind in order to get, you know, move in a new direction. But it's almost like, almost like not knowing what to do about something. Um, and so I feel as though there could be a conversation between you and another person, page of pentacles, page of cups here, that maybe kind of, I don't know, I see a bit of stress and worry around a situation here for you. And it feels like it has to do with a decision of what you're going to do moving forward. Um, with the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Fool makes me feel like there's something new that you're wanting to explore down the line or going forward. Um, so this feels like maybe you're revitalizing an energy that has once ended, like trying to start something again, okay? With the Queen of Cups here and the Seven of Wands, some of you are like trying to protect your energy though at the same time. Like there's kind of this interesting energy of, um, I feel like you're going back and forth on something. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Going back and forth on something and not sure what to do or how to kind of like move forward in it. So let's, um, let's clarify this um, Ten of Swords here. What is this uh, Ten of Swords? We have the Six of Cups with that. So yeah, definitely 
some sort of, um, again, I kind of feel like something has already ended. Like it's something that you've already um, ended or walked away from that's kind of more of like, it's almost like more of now a memory that you have, but there's still this attachment to it. Um, so there could be something from your past that you're still kind of holding on to. What's the fool? Clarify the fool here, please, for Saj. We have the Empress and the Four of Wands. So you are obviously wanting something good for yourself. Who isn't, right? But this feels like you're looking for something that's going to grow in your future, like something that has potential to it. Um, there feels like maybe, maybe you've been stuck in the past, okay? Trying to figure out how to get out of it. What is this page of pentacles here? We have judgment, page of cups, king of cups. So someone is coming to you with an offer here, an opportunity. You're gonna have to make a decision, I feel, around this. Why the nine of swords here? Yeah, Justice and the Three of Cups. You're really trying to figure out, is this leading me to where I want to go? Justice and the Three of Cups is like trying to figure out what's the right decision. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like what's going to get me to what I'm trying to achieve for myself? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is something where you're trying to figure out like, how do I... Is this going to lead me to where I'm trying to go? Is this is this serving me? And I think that there's like, with the two pages here, it's like you might not have all the information that you need, or you're still trying to figure that out because, again, you don't have all the information. Again, there's this indecision that you guys have this rest of December around a situation here of like, what's the right thing to do? It could have to deal with starting something back up that you have previously thought was over, or it's about like, ending something and moving in a in a direction um let's see what this seven of wands is here we have the five of wands you're definitely not wanting any drama any conflict we have the magician and the ace of swords i also feel like you are very You're, like you're willing to put in the energy and the effort that you need to in order to manifest what it is that you're trying to achieve for yourself going forward. There's this energy of, okay, if this is what I want for you know, my future or my situation, it's like I gotta, I gotta put some energy and some effort into this. I gotta fight for this. What's this Queen of Cups? Ten of Wands. Some of you are also creating boundaries with people. I feel like there's something here still. We have the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, the World, the Star, and the Emperor. There's still something here that is trying to close out for you. And so I feel like there's still this, there's like an energy almost of... Um, Maybe something you've continued to try to reconcile. You could be disowning that. You could be kind of like, like wanting something more for yourself, wanting something better for yourself. It feels as though there's this energy of um, wanting to do the right thing, restore karma, right? Justice card, do the right thing for yourself. But it's like, what is that thing? And I think whatever has been kind of a bit of a burden here for you, I see you not wanting that anymore like you're trying to let that go and create boundaries and so it's not so heavy for you i don't feel like you're satisfied with something or you haven't been in the past and so you're closing out that chapter here so this is all about like okay if i'm going to move into something better for myself how do i go about this what are the decisions that i need to make in order to be assertive and move forward here okay sun and aries but there's this indecision around the right thing to do with that empathy card and not wanting to make the wrong decision. 
So this is about how you're going to move forward in something, but also remembering yourself and having empathy for yourself in that process, right? Not disowning yourself and what it is that you truly want for yourself. So let's see what your advice is. This is kind of an interesting, um, interesting reading. I do feel like you're starting out a new chapter, but there's something about reconciling and, and making the decision to move forward and, and like leave the past behind. So if there is a sense of reconcil reconciliation, either if it's with a person or a situation, like this could be going back to a project that you've already tried to start, it's trying to figure out like, is that really the right decision for myself or do I need to move on? That's kind of what it feels like. So what is the advice here for Saj? We have the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. What is the advice for Saj? Ace of Swords and the Two, two of Swords, interesting. There we have the hermit. <laughs> I'm laughing because we have the two aces and then the, the twos that come right after it. Ace of cups, two of cups, ace of swords, two of swords. That's your advice. This feels like... This feels like your heart over your mind a little bit of like not getting so trapped in what the right idea is and really kind of going with what feels right, what feels in alignment to you. That's gonna help you make this decision. The more you're kind of in your head around things and you're not trusting your heart and your intuition to a swords, that's gonna block this clarity from coming in. So this feels like um, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, uh, trusting yourself with the hermit card here. Okay, so like really going within and tapping into yourself and how this makes you feel, how this intuitively feels to you. And that's what's going to help you make this right decision, okay? Some of you might have like Libra in your chart, okay? Because we have the indecision here with the Libra and Venus, okay? So this feels very like, I want to do the right thing. What is that right thing? It could have to do with another person or relationships or something from your past as well, okay? So take that as it resonates. Some of you are really leaving a past behind though. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are reconciling. It could just be there's a chance to reconcile and you're really trying to figure out is that the right decision for me or not. So trust your heart, trust your gut, um, and don't get so trapped in fear and caught up in the mind and the headspace. Um, once you dive into how something makes you feel, I think that that's going to clear up that confusion or that indecision that you have. So that is what I have for you, Saj. Hopefully that resonates for you. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other signs um, that may be in your chart um, or you can check out any other readings that I have. So thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.